Hey, this is Kinak coming back to some more Contest of Champions. Uh, we've got a Crystal to open and some PvP, and then we're going to see what happens trying to fully explore one of the early quests. We do not have sound on. That's better. Hey, Scarlet Witch. I mean, one star, but I do like the Scarlet Witch. champion. I wonder if she has anything cool going on. I mean, she should, because the Scarlet Witch is awesome. Nullify and precision. Moving all positive status effects and critical hit chance, which synergizes nicely with her other special. Hex Sphere. That's cool. I doubt we will have any chance to use her. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get wrecked in verses here. So we've got a day and change left of Web Slinger. We're at win streak of four, which, if our Commodore Jamie is to be believed, should. Uh, get us to a pretty bad spot as far as difficulty goes. I actually, they might have said three or four times for the uh, multiplier before it gets really bad. Okay, so sending in the B team first. Got Cyclops and Rhino, obviously. Uh, I don't want to send Storm, because that'll be doubled up with Cyclops. So let's do Black Bolt, Rhino, Cyclops, and find a match. Alright. We've got, let's see, Yellow Jacket. Okay, so yeah, we're getting up to uh, Medium, and there's a Hard even down at the bottom with some serious abomination action. Well, we will see what happens versus Captain Insano. All right. Well, that's good. I feel like It might be worth having Black Bolt go up against Ant-Man rather than Rhino. Um, just so we have a better chance with Ant-Man. And then the Yellow Jacket fight can be sort of sacrificial. Um, let's go for it. 2.5 times multiplier. So if we win much of anything here... That'd be pretty good for us. Alright. The dodge did not do a trick. I made a mistake of trying to activate my special. And of course nothing happened. right into that high kick. Uh, that was rough. We probably could have won that one. A little better 
blocking or dodging, I'm sure. That does not bode well for the rest of our fights here. Rhino versus Ant-Man. Nice fog effect there. Still think it's weird that his charge does not involve him, you know, charging. Apparently poisoned now. Okay. Rhino doing some work. Got some chevrons and some gold. Gold does not seem to be multiplied for uh, our multiplier, so we might actually be losing gold on this fight if we lose. Which is fine. I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Did not do it. First time we've gotten to fight Yellow Jacket, though. Of course, looks very much like his movie incarnation. If he has a non movie incarnation. Series lost. Bonus multiplier lost. I still got 100 chevrons, so he basically traded 70 gold for 110 chevrons and a little bit of progress towards this guy. Alright. Well. That's apparently what happens when you break your streak. Multiplier drops back down to 1. Win streak naturally back down to 0. So, hopefully... We've got... If we're back down to... Assembling a team with a team rating of 500 or higher. Okay. <laughs> we are Marvel's Mightiest. Okay. Well. We can go for the easy. Let's see what happens if we actually go for the second. Someone who's a little more our own size. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to set Storm versus Juggernaut just on principle there. Seems as good a reason as any. And Rhino does good work for us, so I think sending Iron Man up against him is just sort of a show of respect. Fist took out Thor, of course. Ah. 
Just having a little water. Not, you know, boozing it up. That's the glass right next to it. Okay, Juggernaut is proving to be a beating here, which I feel like is entirely my fault. Unlanded, so that's good at least. Ah. And still wins. Iron Man versus Rhino. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Bonus multiplier went up. <laughs> You're awesome. Next Deadpool. Okay, so we got another batch of chevrons and some gold. Not really particularly close to 30,000. Doubt we will be hitting that the way that we're playing. Uh, not because we're playing badly, but just because we're not putting the time into it. even doing, you know, two videos a night, we'd need a lot of PvP to get up to 30,000. Um, I'll be curious to see when we get to um, 10,000, which I think we can hit, uh, what the ranks look like. Alright, well, uh, as promised... I'd like to go back to some very early stuff and finish the exploration. So, one thing I'm not actually sure of is I feel like the characters do actually get uh, some XP uh, for being in fights that you then supplement with ISO-8. Uh, so I'm going to toss the Rhino in there, because Iron Man is kind of capped out. Obviously should not be a problem. So I'm curious to see... What is a contest without a prize? The reason you compete, Summoner? The Isosphere! A collection of ISO-8 stars collapsed into a powerful orb. It could be yours, or it could belong to Kang. Alright. So. I'm guessing that the jiggly line, as it were, jiggly line, is uh, the path that we haven't followed yet. So, let's see if that is right and just go utterly destroy the vision here. Do not underestimate, Summoner. Your darkest days lie ahead. Remember, Kang, I have opened my vault of champions to the Summoner as well. Only the contest can tell us who is more worthy of the Isosphere.
Alright, well. If you're gonna stomp somebody, might as well really stomp them. It was not a problem. Alright, grab our chest. I am a genius who has mastered the time stream summoner. You won't stop me from obtaining the Isosphere. Alright, well. <laughs> Black Bolt, it's all you. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> well, I guess I can be as irresponsible as I want now. was a good set of dodging. Not that we needed it, but you know, practice. I'm led to understand it makes perfect. Summoner, look on the ground beneath your feet. A potion. It can be used to heal a champion before a fight, such as the one before you now. Valuable items are strewn all across the battle line, just waiting for you to stumble across them. Unless you've got a burning dragon heart as a weapon, I'll stop you in my sleep. This is hardly my first contest of champions, you know. Man, I really want him to be a Mortal Kombat character now. Alright, so, I'm not sure what combination of things here is the 100% explored, and how much of it is just the basic rewards. Uh, let's, that was really quick, let's go ahead and do the next one as well, so we don't end up with, you know, too boring. Long have I struggled against the champions of Earth. I think I mentioned this last time, but I feel like Kang should be the champion of Earth, or at least one of them. But no longer. Once I win this contest, the planet shall kneel before me. Long live Kang! I mean, he is from Earth, right? Okay, so we need to go left. Hopefully we won't run out of energy during this because that would be lame you haven't really gotten to see their energy system in practice it is not the type that I'm a fan of uh, Metroplexity and Twilight Heroes that I run uh, both do actually have energy that regenerates in real time uh, so there's this but there's a sort of nuance I think between having the energy regenerate sort of every day or some other relatively long period of time and regenerating every, you know, few minutes. Uh, 
you know, we're going to get more energy in 30 seconds. Uh, that just feels kind of gimmicky. Um, I won't say exploitative exactly, but uh, only really there so that they could sell you more energy. Uh, which, not a not a huge fan of. Uh, not actually because of, you know, like the money grubbing or whatever, but because uh, I don't like the way it breaks up gameplay. I like being able to sort of play the game for its chunk and then go to something else. And like, maybe you're playing every day for, you know, an hour, but in general, I just much rather play for my hour all at once or be able to split it up really however I want rather than it being optimal to, you know, play for like 10 minutes, come back in an hour, play for 10 minutes, come back in an hour, um, which ties back into why I don't like the uh, free crystals very much. Not a huge problem. Centuries of technology at my beck and call, the knowledge of the eons at my command. I shall be the greatest ruler your planet has ever seen. Iron Fist versus Black Bolt. At some point, we might join the Alliance, but I would be a little surprised. This is quite impressive, Summoner. I must confess, I did not expect such a spirited effort. But how long can he last? The contest shall reveal all. Well, it helps that you know I'm... Nine plus levels higher than I should be. Well, we're just... All Iron Fist all the time. I should really be trying to dodge those just as best practices. Battle among the stars. Truly, Earthling, we were born for this moment. Too bad I'll end it by rupturing your skull. And skull rupture. So, do we let Iron Fist keep soloing this? Or do we bring in, you know, Rhino? How about we let Rhino handle it? nullify ability they were talking about there is the uh, one we were looking at on Scarlet Witch earlier, which is pretty cool. And actually pretty appropriate for Scarlet Witch. Got some good paper rock scissors going there. Block, he started the heavy, we switched to a quick attack. Alright, and we have finished exploring that guy. Lots of ISO 8, and a bunch of units actually. Two chests with more ISO 8. Let's play Upgrade the Champions. This time on Upgrade the Champions. 
Kinak upgrades. Hmm. Let's see. Man, I'm I'm feeling Rhino. How about how about we upgrade Rhino some? Do we want to upgrade him again? Yeah, why the hell not? Oh, okay. Pshing. There we go. Alright, so. Huge boost to Rhino. And I think we have, is it Mystic? No, we've got Circuit and some Fist. I don't think, we have enough to really upgrade anybody else, yeah. Not even Colossus there. Thinking though, we should sell off our one star champions. I don't think we're going to be using these guys, so. Sorry, Spider Man. You served us well. Vision. You were cool. Oops. This is actually the plot of. By what measure a man from next gen. I think that's the name of it. The vision goes to trial and gets uh, decided whether it's the property of the Federation. Right. Well. So we could upgrade Unstop Colossus. It seems a bit like overkill. Let's go ahead and hmm. Let's actually do some more Rhino. We have all of this sweet, sweet... Oh, the little class bonus pop-ups are nice. Hello? Well, might have had some recording problems there, so we'll see that in post. Level 7. Getting ready to kick ass and take names. Hmm. Don't have enough generic to level him up. So we are going to go back here. And... Okay. Now let's do Cyclops, at least just for the sake of PvP. <laughs> Get him up to level two. Oh, Cyclops. Alright, and I think that's... Ooh. Hmm, so... The, the units store. Yeah, this is the store to buy units for money. Not the, uh... Man. So I've been watching some other Contest of Champions video, just to see, you know what other folks are doing, and a surprising number of them are like, let's drop $100 on crystals and see what we get, and it's like, ugh, I mean, if you have $100 to drop on crystals, uh, I, however, run some online games that are not, like, fantastically profitable, and, uh, do not have money 
to drop uh, hundreds of dollars in crystals. So we'll be rocking it. Okay, so we've got science crystal. If we get up to 150, golden crystal. If we want a ton of gold, which is potentially kind of cool. Oh, actually, hmm. They're actually really cheap, too. I don't... I don't feel like that's our uh, right option, though. So... I think we're going to save it. Wait to see if we can get a better offer than this. I don't feel like we really need a science champion. Uh, we've got Rhino, and he's kicking ass and taking names. I'm not, not really looking to replace him at the moment. Uh, hmm. Well, I will think about that more. Maybe I will, maybe I'll crack and we'll get the, uh, just the normal premium crystal. Don't think we can afford anything else. So, uh, that should be it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you think I should just grind through all of the uh, complete explorations uh, off episode, uh, just let me know, and I'll do that on my time. If you do want to see that, you know, let me know that too. Uh, either way, I'd be happy if you throw us a like or if you really enjoy the episodes, a subscription, and any way you cut it, I will see you next time.